Today is day two for building our grain bin house. This is the, the shell of the house, and then we'll start, obviously, making the inside livable, but right now we have to get the shell up, and today we finished getting the shell up. This is where it finished after day one. You can see day one's video by clicking the link above, and you can go through that. We also have a playlist at the end where you can go all the way through the journey from day one to today, today's episode. You can see a grain truck in the background. That truck was used to hold the roof up as they built the grain bin. They did two rings, put the roof on, and now they're going to lift it. You can see those little red hydraulic lifts underneath, and those lifts are going to keep lifting up the building and they're going to build it coming down from the top down, and they have five more rings to put on today. We had a team of four men come out and they worked very well together putting this together. One of the guys said it's kind of similar to building and having an erector set, only it's a lot cute, a lot bigger, and I agree with him. They were constantly just putting nuts and bolts in to pull this together. Now, now, as a little game or a little interest as we go through the video, I want you to be thinking about how many nuts and bolts do you think it takes to build a grain bin house? Now, this one is 27 feet in diameter and seven rings high, so that'll give you a little uh, tip as far as to help you with the math. I'm going to kind of help you as we go along, like I counted some screws on the different sheets of metal and some different spots. My numbers aren't going to come out exact, but I'm going to give you an idea that it's going to be a lot. So how is this done? What they did is they had two men on the inside and two on the outside, and they kind of worked in pairs, one inside, one outside. The one on the outside would push in the bolt and you can see the guy here, he's using a tool to put the nut on the other side. They also used, one person would go around and just screw it lightly and then somebody else would come along with the power tool and just screw them on. And very loud in there, the noise is echoing all over the place, so I did not get that part for you to hear. But it's a lot of work, a lot of noise, a lot of um, making sure they get these nuts and bolts in. So let's take a pause here and take look at a picture of one of the sheets of metal and I'm going to let you know how many nuts and bolts are on each one. Now, I'm only going to give you how many are on the side and how many are on the top because you're not going to count top, bottom and two sides for each sheet obviously because they're being screwed together. But on the side of each piece of metal that's wrapping around called a ring, you have 11 nuts and bolts going in and along the bottom you have eight. There are eight pieces of metal in each ring, and remember they're seven feet high. I do want to apologize for the metal on the video. I took this with my phone, actually, and the resolution isn't too good. It kind of um, looks like it's psychedelic there, and I apologize for that. So you can start doing some of the math there. You also have the roof, as you can see up there. And there are 20 panels, and each panel has 15 nuts and bolts. And there's going to be a couple other places that we have nuts and bolts as well, but we'll go over there, those in just a moment. Now, the way that these hydraulic lifts or jacks work is each time they get a ring on, then they will start lifting the whole grain bin until it's high enough where they can do the next layer. They have to make sure everything is coming up at the same time so the whole thing doesn't topple over. Another job that's being done with the guys on the inside is they're putting pieces of tape down. Um, if you can see, sometimes when you're looking at the outside of the building, you can see those strips of nuts and bolts. You can see them lined up at the bottom all the way around each piece. Every single line of nuts and bolts has a tape put in. And that tape is to make sure no moisture gets into the, to, through those cracks into the building. So that's one layer of keeping moisture out of the grain bin. Now, obviously, since we're using it for a house, we're going to have to insulate it on top of that. But we'll go over that later, but for now, this is the first layer of a little bit of insulation to keep the moisture out. Ready to raise it one time, and I'm going to give you just a little bit of video of watching those hydraulic jacks move up so that you can see how slow it is. I'm not going to go through the entire process because it takes a few minutes, but I'll give you just a little clip, a few seconds, so you can hear it and see how it's lifting. Once that last ring is placed on, then they have to go around and plumb the building. And that took a, a, a few, 
a few minutes to get that done. It wasn't something that was done quick. They have to make sure everything's level and straight and plumb, and that way the building obviously won't fall over or um, there won't be any structural problems when we go inside and put the living quarters in there. You can see here on the side that they attached it to the pad, and these are braces, uh, support braces, and each of those have 20 nuts and bolts in those as well. So you want to make sure you count those, and there are eight of them going all the way around. So now that we have all of our math that you can do, let's go ahead and do a drum roll so that we can figure out, see if anybody's right so far. Pause if you haven't come up with a number, and then I will tell you. All right, drum roll. There are 2,988 nuts and bolts, 5 16 inch size nuts and bolts to create, to build this grain bin. 2,988. This week we're going to talk about how much money we spent to get to this point. This is the basic shell. We now call this the tin can. We drive past it to get out of the driveway and we we just have named it the tin can. So if my husband comes up here to work, he says, I'm going up to the tin can. So that, that's the new name. That's going to be the name for our unique rental, the tin can. Thank you for watching. Um, you may wonder why that one panel has been left out, but that is so that we can get in and out. And then we're going to cut out a door so that we can start going in there and doing the work. Thanks for watching. See you next week. And you have a blessed day.